Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to tip number eight, day eight. And um, today we're going to have another tip, interesting tip for you guys as well. Um, and as part of the entire um, 14 days of tips, yeah. Uh, I think uh, most of you know that uh, every week, uh, every day I've been giving a tip. And um, I think there are a lot of questions that you have with some of the tips that I'm giving. Of course, I also get a lot of good feedback from a lot of you about how the tips have actually helped you a lot. So I'm very happy to hear that. Now, what I need you to understand is that uh, because I only speak about 15 minutes every day, so the tips uh, might not uh, con uh, you know, cover everything that you, uh, you know, uh, questions you have or doubts you have. Um, so what is important for you to understand is that um, when you have these um, questions and, and, and doubts, and I'll just write it down somewhere. Of course, many of you are actually keeping in touch with me through WhatsApp, so you can WhatsApp with me, or you can go to Facebook Messenger and ask me questions. But I will do a Q&A question and answer session uh, after I finish the 14 days, you know, and I'll tell you which day it is, most only on a Wednesday after the 14 days is over. And so that will be on the 15th of June, if I'm not mistaken. That, that's what probably it will be. But I am going to uh, then answer all the questions you have so that you are able to then understand a bit more better in case you still have questions after that. But before that, you can already send me all the information, um, questions, and by WhatsApp and all that. OK, welcome to uh, tip number eight. Um, tip number eight is actually um, something called rejoice uh, with other people's success so that law of attraction will bring that success to you. A very important topic. Eh? Um, a lot of times you don't realize this. We have all have got goals and dreams and we want to achieve a lot of things in our life. Okay. So we you know we have got vision board and visualization. We visualize a car and house and whatever not. Um, but but not everyone. Eh? I'm not here to say that everybody is like that, but a normal tendency among many people that I've seen is that when you see a say a, a car, BMW car passing by and you're driving your car and you see the car passing by and you'll say, Oh, the guy must have taken Raswa or taken bribe, no wonder he can have a big car. Or you'll say, Oh, why must buy such an expensive car? Because one scratch earlier, the car, you know, you need to spend 10, 20,000. Do you know how to service the car one month? You know how much, you know how much is the road tax of the car? So everything you say is negative about the car. Now, question is, how would the car come to you? You can put it in a vision board and say, I want a BMW, but you have been constantly saying negative things about people who drive BMWs or Mercedes, whatever car. You, may, you, you might drive past and see a bungalow, okay? And in your dream board, you've got a big house or bungalow house, whatever. But when you drive past and you see, uh, you know, a big bungalow house or, you know, and you know what you'll do? You will say things like, oh, you know how expensive enough to stay in big bungalow? You know how much is the electricity? You know how many maids you need? You know how many days you take to clean the house enough? You know, do you know that when you have bungalows, huh, a lot of robbers will come, you know, better not have bungalows, you know. Again, you see the negativity we create. You know, and then yet in your vision board, you've got a bungalow and you want to have a bungalow. It will never come to you because you are resenting your negative towards what you want, you see. So it's very important for you to understand, even if it's not what you want, but when you resent successful people, resent. Eh? Now, there are people who maybe get a lot of success through uh, not so good means, lah, eh? maybe illegal means or some other ways. Lah. The one we're not talking about, I'm talking about generally. When people drive a big car or a, drive a big house, you need to know how to appreciate that. I'll tell you how shortly, but I will come to that. Or, for example, if you see somebody wearing, a, you know, a, you know, gold chain and rings, and then you say, "Oh, look at that walking goldsmith! Look at that!" Huh? I'm just asking to be robbed, you know, walking. I'm not asking to wear all that and walk around, but again, you are negating. Again, you're saying negative things about somebody who's wearing gold. Um, how would gold come to you? Uh, you see people going for holidays overseas, and you say, "Oh, you know, they think they got so much money, lah." The go holidays overseas, chutti chutti Malaysia, so Malaysia also got so many beautiful. Actually, you are you are upset. Actually, you are very angry because you cannot go overseas. But then, when you see people going overseas, you get angry. When somebody says, "You know, I'm going overseas, you know, uh, for a holiday with my family," you'll say, "Oh, y'all are waste of money, lah." You know what? For go overseas, I just go Malaysia, lah. Go here, go there. You see, if you really you are you are saving money and you want to save money, you don't think you want to waste money. That's another thing. But I'm talking about the people who actually say this because they're jealous. Say this because they're envious. Say this because they cannot go. So that's why they're upset about it. And that's not good. 
okay because if, if that's the what's going to happen then what will happen is you would have problems because what's happening is that you would actually uh, have issues yourself when you are trying to attract all these things you see so i i really need you to understand that you need to look at it. or you see somebody in i'm just giving examples somebody in a big pro, on a promotion somebody been promoted as a manager somebody's been, you know your working colleagues somebody's been promoted the first thing you would say ah yala because he keep us a lot right or yala because he act on a lot right yala because he he you know uh, body what because he tried to you know be sweet to the manager no wonder he got promoted see then when you get promoted what will people say the same thing you don't like that right and you'd say you didn't do it but see when you keep saying it you are then saying oh people who get promoted must do all that so now if you don't do you won't get promoted right now that's what you're saying i'm not saying that's how it works but sometimes you must be careful what you say because what you say the brain doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination and when you say things for the sake of saying the brain will take it up as a reality and that is very dangerous very very dangerous you know when some children are doing a real in exams and your children are not doing very well and you say things like yala children are they are children are doing very well but you know what i saw him smoking you know so a lot of times then you are relating it when somebody is doing very well that means it will relate to smoking if somebody is doing very well that means it relate to duck or something like that again you will find that your children then will be affected because of the way you think because your brain will pick it up very very important one last example holding hands and walking around when you see a, a man and woman walking around you holding hands oh yalla baru kavin what just got married no wonder la hold so close even mosquitoes cannot go through what just watch la one year later they walk far far even elephants can go through and because you know what marriage does, magic doesn't last la you see when you say that again as a joke is fine but you're saying it every time you see a couple who is happy every time you see someone who is you know like you see pictures of people getting married and you say yalla now holding hand wait la wait la you know so you are if you're not married you'll find that you'll very difficult for you to get married because you already said negative thing your brain will pick up when i say brain pick up is is like you must understand something and the brain doesn't know that between reality and imagination that's very important i give an example and eh? i give an example listen very carefully and just imagine as i as i talk imagine eh? um i i was in india i've been to india many 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 times and i've been to india all over india to different places like kanpur and you know small small places to speak you know i've been invited to speak by many organizations so i've been there many times and one day i was in india it was hot sun and you know i was at this particular uh, area you know i was walking down the street there you know looking for something to drink because very very thirsty and i saw this man selling a uh, lime juice you know and as i was walking i saw this guy you know uh, a lot of people were waiting la ha and some people were already drinking you know and this guy was getting taking the lime you know it's so hot and this is a nice cold lime juice drink and i need taking the lime and you know the lime is sour you know so and he, and he's cutting the lime and the juices are flying and you can like oh my god you know the juices are flying and i can see people drinking and their face all changing because it's sour you know now i want to ask all you huh? how many of you have a saliva in your mouth how many of you are salivating that means huh? suddenly you got so much of saliva because i talk about lime juice sour juice many of you many many of you would be salivating now you know but but there's no lime juice nothing but you see how your brain works now because the moment you imagine something immediately your subconscious mind will pick up and will create that sensation that's why you salivating see how the saliva saliva comes that's exactly how when you say negative things about people your brain will pick it up and make sure you don't get the car you don't get the house you don't get the relationship because you are always negative so it is very important for you to understand is this now you don't have to go out of the way you don't have to go out of the way and praise everybody i'm not saying all that i'm not saying you must go out there and praise people i'm not saying you should go out there and you know say nice thing nothing but it is within you within you when you bless someone even if you don't want to bless us never mind lah i know some of you don't want to bless okay then but do not say negative things do not say negative things to put them because your brain will pick it up your brain will pick, and that's very very important eh? see i already told you our brain you know right in the middle here has got something called pineal gland or uh, also part of the reticular activation system is like a gps system whatever you put inside it will come in your life so if you keep saying into that 
oh, you know, if you buy a BMW, it's expensive. It's very, you know, road tax is expensive. You can scratch expensive. People will steal the car. You wear a gold ring, somebody will cut off your fingers. Uh, you want to wear a gold chain, somebody will snatch it. Your brain will pick it up. Your pineal gland will pick it up. When your pineal gland picks it up, when you, you, when you want to buy a chain, it will try to stop you. You will not have the money to buy. Even if you buy, it won't stop you. And even if you buy, you'll get snatched because you already put it in your RAS and gates. So many people don't realize the, the one of the tips for law of attraction to work for you is for you to be happy that others are successful and you want to be like them. See, I, I think I've told you many times, uh, even if you go back to my law of attraction talk on, I did last month, 28th of May. Uh, for those who have not watched it, please go to my YouTube videos. Look for the 90-minute uh, uh, session on law of attraction and hope on on the 28th of May, I did it, right? Watch that video, right? I talk about the example of coffee and uh, drinkers. Huh? How a lot of you, if you drink coffee, you cannot sleep. If you drink coffee, you cannot sleep. If you drink coffee, you cannot sleep. But you know, if, if I ask 100 people, normally about 10, 15 people cannot sleep. But 85 people can sleep if they drink coffee. And if I ask you, know, why is it that you can drink uh, coffee and sleep? They say, I never think about it. I just drink, I sleep. Like whatever I drink, I can sleep. You see, the, whatever I drink, I can sleep. The other 15 people is that when I drank coffee one day, I couldn't sleep and I thought, oh, it must be coffee. Another day, I drink coffee and I say, oh, it must be coffee. And I then tell everybody, if I drink coffee, I cannot sleep. If I drink coffee, I cannot sleep. And so much so, the brain picks it up. Whenever you drink coffee, you cannot sleep. So see how powerful the brain picks it up. After that, you don't even have to think about it. If you drink coffee, you won't sleep. You cannot sleep. So I really, really need you to understand. Tip number eight today, rejoice with other people's success so that law of attraction will bring that success to you. How? Let's go back again. Huh? Let's go to the first one. When you see a BMW or Mercedes, -Benz, any car that you like, you just look at a car and say, oh, I'm so happy for them. One day I will drive a car like that because it's a beautiful car. And I know I can afford the car and I will have the car one day. And I too one day will be driving the car. You pass a bungalow house. Wow, look at the house. Such a beautiful house, you know. I would love to live in a house. You know what? One day I can afford it and I know I'll have it. In fact, I will have it within. Be very positive. You know, I will have it within the next two, three years. And, you know, I tell you, it's going to be so amazing. I'm doing law of attraction and Hoponopono. The house is going to be mine. And one day I will leave have a house like that, you know. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to bring my parents all to stay there with me. It's amazing. Now what happens is your subconscious mind will look at it and say, oh, you like bungalow house. Let me bring it to you. Oh, you like BMW. Let me bring it to you. You see somebody with gold, you know, rings and chains, and you say, you know what? I would love to have gold, and, you know, maybe I won't wear like that, but I would love to have gold and keep a collection of gold so I can wear gold rings on different days, different ring, gold chains for weddings and all I can wear, and I can even buy for my family members. Then gold will come. When somebody gets promoted, you say, I'm happy for him to get promoted, you know, and I know my term will come, and when I get promoted, I know what I can do for people. My salary will go up. I can do more for my family. You know, my turn will come because I do law of attraction. I do, it will come, you know, but God bless him, you know, even if he has done something wrong and he has, you know, cheated his way up also, you just say, listen, God bless him because I even even say it's karma, you know, if he done bad, God will, you know, do what he needs to do, but it's, it's not my job. It's not my duty. But one day I will be promoted to the position. One day I will be the general manager. One day I will be the, and you know what? I know it will happen to me because it's possible. Or you see a husband and wife walking, holding hands together and say, you know, oh, what a lovely couple. You know what? I will be like that until the day I die. I will be like that, holding my hands, my wife's hands and my husband's hands and walking there because we love each other. It doesn't matter what people say. And every time you say that, you know, sometimes people will tell you, I give you another example, I just remember this, you know. A lot of people come and tell you, you know, oh, you know, you've got children, uh, wait, uh, when they're teenager, uh, when they're 13, for you just watch, uh, oh, my God. I tell you, you just watch La Vendia 13, 14, you were going to have problem, like girlfriend, like this. Like. You see, actually, honestly speaking, you should know your children better. But the problem with you is when you see other teenagers, you say, look at the teenager, see, like, our children are also going to be like that. Like. So look at that teenager, I think our children are also going to be like that. And then exactly what's going to happen? Because you are creating the thoughts in your mind. So coming back to the topic here today. So if you rejoice, if you are happy, uh, when other people are successful. Well, I don't, I mean, you, see, you guys have seen me do this video and I already told you about don't post things on social media. So you probably will refrain. But a lot of people have not gone through my program. They don't know what I teach and they don't even bother. In fact, the other day I told someone, the day I told her, don't put in the next day, I saw her pictures all on the Facebook, you know? And the, that's okay. I mean, you, want to, you want to listen to me, do you want to listen to me, that's up to you again. 
But what I'm saying is, if people do all that, that's their problem. But you don't, you you don't do it. But you can only rejoice when you see other people's pictures. Though I'm talking about not about the social media. I really, really feel social media is not the right place to post your private things. But when you see people anywhere else, lah, be happy for people, whether they car, what they because when you are happy with somebody's life, automatically your subconscious brain will pick it up and say, okay, that is the life that you want and I'll bring it to you. But when you see somebody's life, which is better than your life, and you say negative things, your subconscious mind will die, die. will make sure it doesn't come to you. Why? Because you already programmed it. Just like if I drink coffee, I cannot sleep. Every time you drink coffee, you won't be able to sleep. If you say it is not good to have car, house, and all those things, it will never come to you. So with that, enough of tip number eight. I hope it is helpful. Tomorrow, I will talk to you. Tip number nine at eight o'clock sharp. Uh, be safe. Uh, may God bless you all. Thank you very much. See you all tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Bye-bye.